Welcome sa sit9.com. This video ito tuloy natin yung ating series about uh, uh, direct square variation. No? And uh, this is going to be our last video dito sa series natin on direct square variation. Uh, dito sa video na to i-examine natin yung graph ng uh, direct square variation. And uh, i-relate natin din siya doon sa pag-aaralan natin from the previous videos yung ating direct linear variation. So, just recall, pag sinabi natin y uh, varies directly, no? directly as x, no? then we can write this equation as uh, y equals kx. No? So ito, itong part na to ang tawag natin dyan ay direct linear variation. No? Direct linear variation. And napag-aralan natin yan ha, from the previous series. No? And kung maalala nyo ang graph nito, no? the graph of a direct linear variation. This is a linear function, meaning the graph is a line, no? line passing through the origin. No? Kung ating uh, domain ay uh, set of real numbers, Or, no? pwede rin na, pwede rin na points, no? Points lying on a straight line, no? Passing through the origin. Passing through the origin. Kung gusto nyo panoorin, panoorin yung last video ng ating uh, series on direct uh, linear variation and makikita nyo yung uh, ating elaboration dito. No? Uh, ang sabi natin dito ay points siya if the domain is the set of integers. No? O, halimbawa, number of, the number of uh, pants sold. No? Uh, on the cost of the number, or the cost is uh, directly, or varies directly as the number of pants sold. No? So, makikita natin yung number of pants is uh, integers siya, na positive integers. Wala ka namang 1.5 pants, di ba? So, it's either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. No? Wala ka rin negative. So, points siya, yung kanyang graph. And, pag sinabi naman natin na why y varies directly no directly as the square of x then um our equation naman natin doon ay y equals kx squared no and i think obviously this is a quadratic uh, equation no meaning uh, ang graph natin dyan ay hindi straight line. Uh, the graph is actually a curve. Graph is a parabola. No? Parabola. Passing through the origin. No? Passing through the origin. No? Passing through the origin kasi pag 0 yung x mo, yung y mo 0 din. Di ba? So, 0 times k. If... Uh, if x equals 0, then y equals 0. So, automatic. Nagpa-pass through siya sa 0, 0 or nagpa-pass through sa origin. Whatever the value of k here. No? And again, the... the um, if... Um, if the domain is the set of uh, integers, no? uh, again, points din siya. So, it's either... Solid yung parabola mo or points, no? Points lying on a parabola passing through the origin. No? The origin. Okay, so if you want, uh, pwede natin tignan no, sa graphing software, sa Jojo para. Ano na ba yung tsura nung uh, y equals kx squared, no? So, magigay tayo ng value ng k, maybe 1. And then, i-graph natin yung y equals kx squared. Okay. 
and gawa tayo ng slider para pwede natin baguhin yung value ng k. Okay, so, yan. Pag nabago natin yung k, yan. So, parabola siya passing through the origin, kahit ano man yung value ng k mo. No? So, ang pag ang value ng k mo ay 2, for example, if the constant of variation is 2, then ito yung, yung graph natin. No? If the constant of variation is uh, 3, then that's our graph. No? If the constant of variation is negative 1, uh, Ito yun, no? Um, maraming books hindi naka-include yung negative as constant of variation, pero uh, nag-try ako mag-search, no? Uh, many books ang nagsasabi naman na pwede naman na negative yung ating constant of variation. Okay, so that's it. So, yung pagkakaiba nila sa pagkakaiba ng constant, uh, pagkakaiba ng graph nila, yung uh, direct linear variation is a straight line and yung direct the square variation ay parabola. No? So, yun ang pagkakaiba ng kanilang graphs. And again, posible na straight, uh, yung straight line mo is solid or yung parabola mo is solid at posible din ang mga points. No? Depende sa domain mo. No? Depende sa context. Okay? So, I think that's it dito sa ating series on direct uh, square variation. Ang susunod natin na pag-aaralan ay ang direct uh, Oh, sorry, ang inverse variation. No? So, gusto ko invite sa ating website sa sipnayan.com at uh, kung kayo na nanonood sa YouTube, uh, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. No? Search nyo lang sa uh, sipnayan yung, o sa, sa YouTube yung word na sipnayan and uh, I think number one naman nalalabas dyan yung ating channel. As of this uh, recording, we have more than uh, 700 videos already uploaded. No? So, dami-dami yung pwedeng panoorin at pag-aralan at uh, for sure, no, matututo kayo sa math. No? Uh, that's it. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.